Welcome back to another video. We're going to take a look at Chantal's mukbang and live stream from Eid. Now she shows her ignorance of, you know, the tradition. Um, eats a huge amount of desserts, way more than you would normally expect. Uh, laughs in her live stream about the dogs being kept in the zoo. Says she didn't realise when she was out and about on her own recently that one of the cats that she came across was injured. Anyway, let's get into it, shall we? So this is her mukbang from the 16th of June. Arabic desserts mukbang on Eid al Adha. And it's on 1.5 speed. <laughs> So I'm just turning that volume down. So this is Salah going to get her her sweets, desserts. Hello guys, and Adolf Hamabarak. Enjoy. Oh look who it is. Very sweet, sweetie. Thanks, babe. So he's only there for the first few seconds. Hello guys. Salam alaikum. Eat up. Oh my goodness, see how excited she is there. Those four big trays of sweets, wow. I'm back <laughs> to all my fellow brothers and sisters. So, um, in celebration, we got some sweets. I know you're thinking you shouldn't be eating sweets. I'm going to have a little bit of each, okay, for the special occasion. Um, yes. Yeah, we'll see how much you have. Yes, indeed. All right, so uh, these are some tr like traditional Arabic sweets, and we have some that are traditional for... Eid al-Adha, which is today in Kuwait from the 16th of June till the 18th of June. It's different in different countries, but for Kuwait, that's the dates. So we have here some kanafa, some kanafa that has cheese. Very popular um, Arabic dessert. We have some basbusa that has cream inside. By the way, the cream you see on these desserts is called ishta. So we have basbusa with ishta. We have some cake, soft cake that has ishta, which is such a delicious dessert cream. And it has a lotus on top, so biscoff. I'm going to speed this up to double for this We bit. have some mamoula of different kinds. Some have dates, some have nuts, but they're baked at the bakery there you saw in the video. What do you want? Do you want some mamoula? <laughs> the cat. And we have some uh, Aisha Saraya, which is cake with ishta. This has pistachio on top. So these are the same, but this one has biscoff on top. So bismillah. So if they're the same, why are you getting two lots? It's just a slight difference between them. Good grief. And again, eat more butter. And... Oh my god. So she's picking into them with that fork. And she said she's only going to have a little bit. What's happening to the rest? Going in the fridge for later, huh? So she describes the dessert, so I'm not going to put you through that. And no eating noises, this is on mute. But look how she digs into that one. Then she's going back having another bit of the first one. And another bit of the second one for good size. Oh my gosh. I feel sick just looking at that. Sorry. Ugh. Oh, and we're back to the first one again. She hasn't even got to the other two trays yet. Give her time. Oh, here we go. And... Look at her face. She's like, wow. Oh, never seen her that excited. Well, I have actually with other food. That's not true. <laughs> So for those of you who don't know, Eid is... Yes? Um, um, does she know? ...a Islamic holiday. <laughs> and... It basically translates to, it's the... Did you see the cut there? I'm not going to go back. Very little eating noise, if you heard it at all. But I wanted to show how she really struggles to describe what Eid is. Feast of Sacrifice. I'm going to stop it there because uh, there are eating noises. But she struggles to describe it and goes on to make a, well, little bit of an error. You, you can see she's uh, cut it there so she could go and look it up on Google. And then after she did this video, she posted this community post. 
Hi, just a clarification in my Eid video. Muslims believe that they are inheritors of Ishmael or Ishmael's legacy and not Isaac's. They believe that Ishmael was almost sacrificed and not Isaac. That is the Christian belief. Sorry for the confusion. I am still learning myself. Here are the sources to read for yourself. And she puts a couple of links there. One of them for Wikipedia. And she's put a bit from one of those links in her post. Also, for those wondering why we bought dessert before going to dinner, it was so we could bring sweets to dinner. And also, if we go too late, all the good stuff is gone. Oh, all the good stuff is gone, right. Okay, did you really go out to dinner? I doubt it. Anyway, back to the video. But just also to say, she's been there well over 18 months and she still can't describe some of the Islamic holidays or traditions properly. She's making no effort whatsoever, is she? It's ridiculous. And she wonders why people say she's cosplaying. Hmm. Oh, I just had to play you this bit as well. Listen to this. Basically, traditionally, sheeps are sacrificed. <laughs> sheeps. That's your English major there. Sheeps. Plural of sheep is sheep. She tells us it's a celebration of sacrifice while she pigs into all of this. Sound off, don't worry. Her face when she's eating this, God. It's... And now we're on to the next one. Here we go. Shove it all in. Ugh. So yeah, people typically just gather for dinner. I'm um, going out after. Are you? Can't film where we're going, but um, because of others. Um, Surely you could film something. You could film a bit of the journey there. You could film maybe. I mean, if it's outside, film the surroundings. You don't have to always get people in shot. Maybe it's in somebody's home. Maybe they're not going out anywhere at all. And she's just saying that as an excuse for having bought all of this. Bye. Yeah, I wanted to show you at least something and just say, Eid Mubarak. <sighs> so you wanted to show us something about Eid and this is what you choose to show, you pigging out on sweets. Mm. Is it that Salah's going out with his family later maybe to celebrate and we know, allegedly, they don't want you anywhere near them? Hmm. Have you been given this to keep you out of trouble at home while he goes out and celebrates, huh? She again picks it, lots of them. Don't, this is no sound, don't worry. But look at her face and the eyes. Oh my God. She then digs into the last one. Found off, don't worry. Oh, look at that big mouthful. Ooh. And then... We got another bigger tray of mamu, um, for sharing. Yeah, right. This one is just a small one for the video. <laughs> for us to just keep here. And for you to keep here. If you've got a bigger tray. That'll be for Salah maybe to take out wherever he's going tonight that you're not going to. Hmm? Allegedly. He was willing to do that. And uh, today, you know, Muslims everywhere are willing to sacrifice um, an animal. Most, um, I think it's, you know, usually a sheep. I think it's, uh, you know, usually she doesn't know, does she? As a symbol of that. And it's meant to be shared with the poor, you know, people who are hungry. Um, also, as an act of charity, which, um, you know, Islam. Yeah, people who are hungry and you decide to do this is, is obscene. It's also big on, so. Yeah, <laughs> um, I hope that wasn't too confusing of an explanation, and I hope you liked seeing these Arabic designs. Wasn't really an explanation at all, was it? She doesn't know what she's talking about. She then tells us her favourites of these desserts in order, asks people to comment what their favourite Arabic dessert is, says she's going to get ready to go out. <laughs> yeah, right. And this is, this next bit is just bizarre singing. Bye. So good. So good. 
You desserts are so delicious. Ugh. Uh, very weird. Anyway, that's it. So this is the live she did later the night on Eid after the dessert mukbang. She says it's 11.30 p.m. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I'm tired. I wasn't, I wasn't going to come live. I'm like, uh... Then why did you? Got to get that content out, get that big paycheck this month, eh? Don't you hate end-of-the-day makeup? Uh, take it off then. There's a novel idea. She always wears old, you know... Well, yeah, old makeup, out of date, first of all. Um, she's told us she's put on lipstick and all the rest of it that's years old. Not in this particular life, she said that, but in others. Just take it off then if it bothers you. Going up for Father's Day. That's true with Father's Day, eh? Right, so she's only just realised it's Father's Day because somebody in her chat mentioned it. So she hasn't called her own father. Is she in contact with her own father? What do you do? <laughs> Speaking of what do you do? Oh, stupid voice. Wiping her eye makeup. Just take it off. You've come on barefaced before. Why not just take it off and feel more comfortable? Brenda in her chat says, did you see Salah's family for Eid? Yes, Brenda, we saw people for Eid. We won't say... We saw people. Which people? But we saw people. I'm so did, tired. Did you really? Mm. Or was it just Salah that saw people? And tomorrow? Doing other things. <laughs> doing other things? Well, there'll be another mukbang for sure, won't there? Maybe I can vlog some. Maybe. We'll see. So. What are they doing tomorrow then? Mm -hmm. The next day. I have nothing. No news. No tea. Let's do something fun like. Yeah. Again, you've come on just to make content, just to make money out of nothing. You've got nothing to say, really. Hmm? Can't you tell us a bit about, you know, how you celebrated? You said you went out with people. You don't have to invade their privacy. Just talk about what you did. Uh, was it an outside event? Was it at somebody's home? You know? Oh, yeah. She can't because it was only Salah that went, huh? Maybe that's where he is now. Again, she's picking at her eyes. But then I look like, I look my age if I don't wear my makeup. I look tired or... You look your age anyway. Tired or... There's no such word as tired or it's more tired. English major. Her, I mean. Oh, what's that? Oh, two weeks at college? Not that I'm not going to go at anybody who didn't go to college, but she's the one that flexes it, you know? Don't flex it if you didn't do it. Again, she confirms that she forgot it was Father's Day. Dude. No, I forgot it was Father's Day, actually. Remember this. Because I've heard that she lies later in the stream about this. Now Brenda in her chat again says, is tomorrow a travel day? A travel day? No. Why would I travel? Uh, because you've got a visa run to do soon, for one thing. Now notice that Salah is in her chat. And she said earlier he was at Duania. So you might ask yourself... How is he in her chat if he's there at Duania? I think it's very simple. Uh, he probably just watches the chat or has the volume on very low to make her think that he's paying attention when he's not there. And is he really at Duania or is he out still celebrating Eid with his family or friends? She's stuck home alone good i've been i want to make like a fried rice with like beijing beef <laughs> or something oriental but like again it's one of those things that i never have any of the ingredients for so by the time i buy i have to buy rice wine vinegar sesame oil all that stuff i think i'll just order it you know no you're just too lazy what happened to that grocery haul you had i bet it, all that food is rotted now and you had to throw it out it's disgusting that could have fed people who were actually hungry hmm 
know what I want though? I want, and I, I know there's no way like we would ever spend the money on this, but I want a Van Cleef necklace <laughs> and bracelet. What? <laughs> Maybe I'll get a, a high end knockoff, like a gold plate, gold knockoff or something that's like half the price. Hmm, because they do have a lot of those. They have a lot of knockoffs. Uh, so is your wedding ring a knockoff, perhaps? Mm -hmm. Just saying. Brenda strikes again in chat, asking if Chantal will be calling her stepfather for Father's Day. I did call my stepdad, yes, Brenda, of course I did. Where's the thing? Now remember, she's told us twice already in this that she had forgotten it was Father's Day. Hmm. Another lie. And then Salah puts in chat, Brenda, when are we going to stop talking about families, whether something is good or bad? Thanks for your cooperation. When are we going to stop talking about families, whether something is good or bad? Thank you for your cooperation. Yeah, Brenda, I don't answer those questions on purpose because we just keep a lot of our out of YouTube life uh, private. That's all. Yeah, because we might find out a little too much then. But you have gone back on your community post recently where you weren't going to talk about pet care as one example. And you did talk about Julia supposedly going to get her nails clipped, etc. But wouldn't answer if she was vaccinated or spayed. We know she's not. She then says she's allergic to Julia. Huh? What are you doing? I'm allergic to the cat, so I was petting her and then I touched my eye and it's game over. To you, because you're long hairs. Yes. Then why did you get a long haired cat, you stupid woman? Never mind one that you can't look after properly. And it's not like she's just realized she's had long haired cats before. God. Why are cats cute though? Like, why? We just are. Someone in a chat says they make them cute so people don't eat them. That's my theory. Ugh. That's... I think that one is a known troll. But here's what she says. They make them so cute that we don't eat them. There are people who eat cats, by the way. <laughs> yeah, we know. We didn't have to be reminded of that. You're so disgusting, Chantal. Chat asks if she re wears undies before washing. Ugh. What a strange question. You were rewear. No, Shelly, no. No. I ra rarely, no, I don't. Like, I. No, I rarely, no, I don't. Slipped up there. I rarely means maybe she does sometimes. Hmm? I couldn't imagine doing that. Oh, could you? Pants and undies, no. Shirts I usually rewear if they don't have stains. How oh, I feel sick again now. Oh. Brenda says, will she do a Canada Day mukbang with Salah? We want to do a Canada Day mukbang with Salah on July 1st. Uh... See you thinking there? What can I say to this? Because there's been speculation before, because of something Salah said, I covered it in another video, uh, that they might be travelling around then. I don't know, probably. Well, I don't know. I don't know, Brenda. I don't know. You just confused me. No, she didn't confuse you. You just weren't ready for it. So why did you read the bloody question out then? Unless she just wants to keep people guessing, thinking, ooh, they'll keep tuning in now if they think I'm going somewhere then. And Salah says in chat, Brenda, maybe on July 2nd. Which is odd because Canada Day is on July the 1st. More speculation. Now, someone mentioned Cuba, but it must have been deleted because it's not in a chat anymore. Will you go to Cuba ever again? I don't know. I don't know. Never say never, but not by myself, I don't think. I mean, no, for sure not by myself. If I do go. Yeah, not by yourself. Might be another Cuba rage. Be slow. But I don't think that's on our list. I mean, it's a beautiful... You don't think it's on your list. Either you know what's on your list or not. Beautiful country, but... Florida bees. <laughs> I don't know. I'm thinking, like, what about Bali or um, Indonesia? Looks like a really nice place to travel to, but it looks like you have to be in good shape to do a lot of things. And did yeah, you do you need to be in good shape to do a lot of things in a lot of countries. In a volcano, does he rub there? 
Do you have a zoo? Yeah, we went to the little critter zoo. There were dogs there, and people were like, why are there Pomeranians in the zoo? <laughs> people, I don't know, people don't keep dogs as pets as often here. There was nothing to do with that. Let me remind you all of uh, the dogs in the so-called zoo. So this is from uh, one of the couple's vlogs from last year when they were at the so-called zoo. Oh my gosh, little dog. I found this so, so upsetting when I saw this. Chihuahua. <laughs> They're not chihuahuas, you prat. <laughs> Look at that, so many dogs. And you can see little dog houses, but there doesn't look to be enough for that amount of dogs, does there? They're so cute. <laughs> Here we have a... Oh yeah, it's so funny, isn't it? Huh. You can see behind that sort of brick dividing little wall, you can see a couple of bowls, which I'd like to to think of iced water in but can you imagine the heat there these long-haired dogs apparently there were pomeranians um and of chihuahuas they love chihuahuas here i guess <laughs> i've never seen chihuahuas at a zoo but these ones are so fluffy and cute i've never seen dogs at a zoo full stop and i hope i never do <laughs> Oh my gosh, look at them all! Oh my gosh, look at this one! It's outstanding, cute. It's too cute. Look at this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> They're laughing at this. Look, you can see there. One, two, three, four little kennels. Oh, this really, really upset me when I saw it the first time and it's upsetting again. But this shows you the kind of people they are. They're laughing, think it's cute. She then quickly changes the subject back to travel in Bali. Bali, you can go to jail. You can get, isn't it you can get killed for having drug? I don't know. Cuban fried bananas. I love plantain. Well, if you won't be going to Bali then, will you? We know how much you like the weed. I should start a zoo here for cats. Yes. No. Jeez. Yeah. Some of the stray cats are injured. Some of them. I didn't notice that in my video till after one had a limpy paw. Didn't notice till after. Hmm. And what are you going to do about it? You said there were volunteers that go out looking after them. I hate the way she... Oh. The way she talks about... Cats and dogs, particularly. Drives me mad. There's a lot of talk about Cuba, and she plays down her behaviour there, uh, citing various things. She couldn't use her American credit card, didn't have much cash, blah, blah, blah. And then there's this little bit. Listen very carefully. You can hear laughing in the background. She says it's Salah. I think I left it there. Did I? <laughs> so is he there in another room what's he laughing so loudly at huh but didn't she say earlier that he was at Dubuania? i'm probably not pronouncing that correctly i don't pretend to know uh so how come we heard him laughing there hmm which was a lie one or the other anyway Somebody talked about filters. There, uh, I don't think for the live streams there's a filter. But for video recording, yeah. It's like a smoothing filter. Smoothing my ass <laughs> Makes everything narrow, including you. And if you've got filters on your camera, and you're using your camera to record on the live stream, it's going to be the same filter, isn't it? Am I wrong? English is easy to learn, too, compared to other languages. 
I thought English was one of the hardest languages to learn. Hmm. She brought that up in relation to Salah's knowledge of English. And then Salah makes an appearance. Has he just come in or was he in the other room? It's all you put in. Hey, Hubert's. Hi. I'm your love. I know. <laughs> I know. Look how goofy she gets around him. On camera, anyway. Who's your second love? Julia. Why is she? This is her new bed now. I won't be able to take the drinks out. <sighs> what are you doing? She's still here? Yeah. Since you started. Yeah, she loves oh. sitting there now. Hello, guys, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Scatman. And that's it of any interest in this live stream. Not much at all, I'm afraid. <laughs> and she was live for one hour, 21 minutes. As always, thanks for watching. And until next time, take care. Choke until she can't adore Ready for the green heart full of spice